Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated was founded January 13, 1913 on the campus of Howard University. Created with love, courage, and a need for justice in mind, Delta Sigma Theta was founded by 22 trailblazing women. These women were not only scholars, but women devoted to God, taking action against inequality and their sacred sisterhood. They were activists for change, leaders in their communities, accomplished scholars and professionals, friends, mothers, and wives. These 22 women are Osceola McCarthy Adams, Marguerite Young Alexander, Winona Cargill Alexander, Ethel Cuff Black, Bertha Pitts Campbell, Zephyr Chisholm Carter, Edna Brown Coleman, Jesse McGuire Dent, Frederica Chase Dodd, Myra Davis Hemings, Olive Claire Jones, Jimmy Bug Middleton, Pauline Orbedorfer Minor, Vashti Terrell Murphy, Naomi Sewell Richardson, Mamie Reddy Rose, Eliza Pearl Shippen, Florence Letcher Toms, Ethel Carl Watson, Wordy Blackwell Weaver, Madrid Penn White, and Edith Mott Young. These are their stories. If you know God has been good to you, you ought to say, God is keeping me. I want you to know today that God. The founders of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated were truly women of distinction, class, and ambition. With humble beginnings as students at Howard University, all of them graduated with honors. Although they pursued different goals, it was the sisterhood that kept them bonded together through eternity. Mrs. Osceola McCarthy Adams was born in Albany, Georgia. She is credited for her attributions in the realm of theater, using her talents as an actress in directing the debut of actors Harry Belafonte and Sidney Poitier. Within the ranks of Delta, she chartered the Lambda chapter of Delta Sigma Theta in Chicago, Illinois, and served as the chapter's first president. She also served as grand treasurer on the National Executive Board. Mrs. Marguerite Young Alexander was born in Chicago, Illinois. In her tenure at Howard University, she studied two languages. After graduation, she returned to Chicago where she worked as a French and Spanish correspondence secretary. In 1950, as a member of the housing group, Mrs. Alexander helped the Alpha Nu chapter of Delta Sigma Theta in purchasing a sorority house on the campus of the University of Illinois. Mrs. Winona Cargill Alexander was born in Columbus, Georgia. While at Howard, she served as the Alpha chapter's first custodian. After graduation, she became a teacher and served as the first social worker for the New York City and County Charities. Mrs. Ethel Cuff Black was born in Wilmington, Delaware. She enjoyed fine arts and expressed her love for the arts through her participation in the Howard University Choir. After graduation, she became a teacher in the New York public school system. In 1953, she assisted with the creation of the Queens Alumni Chapter. Mrs. Bertha Pitts Campbell was born in Winfield, Kansas. At Howard, she was a student in the Teachers College and graduated cum laude. 68 years after the sorority's first public service act, she repeated this monumentous walk on August 2nd, 1981. Although a limo was provided for her, at the age of 92, she insisted that she walk. She spent the majority of her adulthood in Seattle, Washington, working toward better race relations. Mrs. Zephyr Chisholm Carter was born in El Paso, Texas. She was Alpha Chapter's first reporter. Ms. Carter was a very gifted singer and actress, and for several years she sang for television shows. Mrs. Edna Brown Coleman was born in our nation's capital, Washington, D.C. Many of the first meetings of Delta Sigma Theta were held in her living room. She was extremely dedicated and studious, thus she graduated from Howard in 1913 as valedictorian and class president. Mrs. Jessie McGuire Dent was from Galveston, Texas and was Alpha Chapter's first corresponding secretary. She became a teacher in the Galveston School District. She was headstrong and determined and took on the Galveston School District in court to win equal wages for black teachers. Mrs. Frederica Chase Dodd was from Dallas, Texas and was Alpha Chapter's first sergeant at arms. She became a teacher in Dallas after graduation and helped to establish the graduate chapter of Delta in Dallas, the first Greek letter organization in the city. Mrs. Myra Davis Hemings was Alpha Chapter's first president. She received her master's in dramatic arts at Northwestern University in 1947. After graduation, she pursued a career in teaching in Texas, becoming a vital contributor to black arts culture and youth development. Ms. Olive Claire Jones was from Washington, D.C. She was very timid and did not enjoy the limelight. After graduation, she went on to teach music in the Washington public school system. 
Mrs. Jimmy Bug Middleton was from Lynchburg, Virginia. She lobbied for Delta Sigma Theta to participate in its first public service act, the Women's Suffrage March. In 1936, she received her master's degree at Howard University and was appointed to the scholarship board of New York's 22nd Congressional District in 1944. Mrs. Pauline Orbedorfer Minor was born in Charlottesville, Virginia and served as the Alpha Chapter's first treasurer. In 1914, she graduated valedictorian of the Teachers College at Howard. She became a renowned mezzo-soprano recitalist and published a book titled Soul Echoes, which featured 40 of her own compositions. Mrs. Vashti Turley Murphy was from Washington, D.C. and was appointed to teach in Washington Public Schools in 1908 before her tenure at Howard was completed. She attended Minor Normal School after graduation and went on to be an activist for women's voting rights. Mrs. Naomi Sewell Richardson was from Washingtonville, New York and was involved in extreme activism and civic service. She was appointed to the East St. Louis School System after graduation by Dean Lewis B. Moore and was the last surviving founder when she passed in 1993. Mrs. Mamie Reddy Rose from Beta, South Carolina was the only founder not to pursue a career after graduation. Instead, she became a homemaker, later becoming an award-winning dramatic reader. She was the first founder to pass in 1919. Miss Eliza Pearl Shippen was from Parkersburg, West Virginia, and was the only founder to receive a PhD from the University of Pennsylvania. She graduated magna cum laude from Howard and received her master's degree from Columbia University. Mrs. Florence Letcher Chance was born in Washington, D.C. She was very accomplished, receiving her degree and scholarship from the 27th President of the United States, William Howard Taft. She was also chosen to present to Eleanor Roosevelt before an audience. She collected elephants, which is now a hobby of Deltas all over the world. Mrs. Ethel Carr Watson was born in Parkersburg, West Virginia. She was a teacher for over 30 years and after retiring, pursued a second career as a dramatic performer. Mrs. Wordy Blackwell Weaver was from Kansas City, Missouri. After graduation, she was also appointed to teach in the East St. Louis School District. Later, she published a book titled Valley of the Poor, which focused on racism and poverty in the South. Mrs. Madrid Penn White from Atchison, Kansas was the driving force behind Delta Sigma Theta. She drafted the bylaws and constitution, selected the Greek letter symbols, and wrote the initiation ritual. She was the first woman to act as editor of Howard University's journal staff. She was also the founder and president of Triangle Press Company in St. Louis, Missouri. Mrs. Edith Mont Young was born in North Carolina and served as the Alpha Chapter's first recording secretary. After graduation, she moved to Ohio. Later, she began teaching at Claflin University in Orangeburg, South Carolina. She went on to receive a degree in biblical literature from Oberlin College in Ohio and became an accomplished pianist. Today, Delta Sigma Theta is one of the largest Greek letter organizations in the world. Since its founding, Delta has more than 200,000 members and 1,000 collegiate and alumni chapters located in the United States, England, Japan, Germany, the Virgin Islands, Bermuda, the Bahamas, Jamaica, and the Republic of Korea. Being courageous. I feel like our founders were definitely the epitome of just Stepping outside of the norm and taking a chance and so making something better. Some of the things that have inspired me will probably, probably be um, Dr. Julian Malbo and Dr. Jeanette B. Cole. And they hold kind of a special place in my heart because they were both past presidents at Penny College. And they just had a presence that you wanted to emulate. Um, you just wanted to be like them, the way that they carried themselves, just everything about them. Um, I would say Delta means our three main focuses, sisterhood, scholarship, and service. Um, the sisterhood part, I always say that part first because I feel like that's where we began and that's where that's where the love comes from. It begins with the sisterhood. Um, the scholarship, obviously that's very important. All of our founders were on the honor roll. Um, their, their studies are very important to them. They usually um, pursued a uh, secondary degree other than their bachelor's. For our service, we're here, you know, to serve the community. We're in the community. We care about what's going on um, in society around us. So, yeah. and I think that's where we keep going to, like our service, because if we didn't have our, our service, would keep this moving and driving going. We're we're about action, so we treasure the work, we value the work, and that's all the service.
Even today, Delta continues to lead the efforts in the fight for political and racial justice. One of AlphaMu's very own, Sherelle Brown, has risen as a pioneer in the struggle, lending her efforts to issues such as gender inequality, police brutality, and oppression in Israel. She has remained steadfast in Ferguson, helping to organize the community and bolster the voices of those victimized by social oppression. She has also appeared on several notable outlets, including CNN, MSNBC, and more recently, the cover of Essence magazine. Sherelle exemplifies the true principles of service and philanthropy and is a prime example of Delta's courageous spirit and active interest in the welfare of this country. For countless years, women of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated have paved the way for women like us. In 2009, sorority member Lisa P. Jackson was appointed administrator of the Environmental Protection Agency. She was the first woman of African American descent to hold the position, thus inspiring me to pursue a career in government and environmental advocacy. In 1979, past national president Gwendolyn Elizabeth Boyd became the first African-American woman to obtain a degree in mechanical engineering from Yale University. Her breakthrough has motivated me to join the group of African-American women with engineering degrees. Women of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated have helped mold the world we see today, and we intend to continue the legacy.